The Trump administration officially submits its annual economic report to Congress. One America, Chanel Rion, spoke with the acting chairman of the White House uh, Council of Economic Advisors and breaks down those results. Every year since President Truman, the White House releases its annual economic report to Congress. President Trump's Council of Economic Advisors acting chair Thomas Phillipson tells One American News this 74th report is the direct result of successfully implementing Trump policies over the last three years and that the Trump economy is unprecedented in who in America it affects. This is a very inclusive uh, growth that's taking place in the Trump economy, meaning the lower income uh, part of the population is really gaining faster than the upper income part of the population. The record-breaking success of the Trump economy has had many disputed causes, none more controversial than President Obama when he attempted to take credit for the Trump economy by celebrating the anniversary of his $800 billion stimulus package that, quote, paved the way for more than a decade of economic growth and the longest streak of job creation in American history. Phillipson says this is an outright false narrative. In 2016, economists sat around and asked what would be the continuation of the Obama economy. And agencies across town, the Fed, CBO, and others weighed in and said, here are our projections of what the Obama economy continuing will look like. Then Trump uh, won the election, and we have had, you know, that basically being shattered by our, by our economic performance. We have 7 million more jobs as opposed to 2 million more jobs as predicted. We have high GDP growth. We have lower unemployment rates. We have higher wages. And now they're coming back and saying this is a continuation of the Obama economy. That's kind of inconsistent. Phillipson says real GDP growth surpassed CBO expectations every single year, far exceeding Obama's rate of growth. In 2019 alone, the Trump administration created more jobs than CBO predicted for President Trump's first three years combined. Phillipson says the unprecedented economic growth is a uniquely a Trump victory, one that can be tracked down to four core issues, tax cuts, deregulation, energy independence, and renegotiated unfair trade agreements. So all those four differ sharply. It's 180 from uh, the Obama-type policies. Obama added an enormous amount of regulation to the economy, and, and we predict that was very hurtful, in particular to productivity growth. Productivity growth is central for the growth of the economy because the growth of the economy is really number of workers working times how many how much output each worker produces, which is productivity. And that has been doubled in the last year relative to Obama. However, one factor proving itself to be a wild card is the coronavirus and what effect it might have on the global economy. We're obviously monitoring that extremely closely. And the president's uh, major concern is obviously the safety of the population. And we're taking very strong measures to ensure that. We're sort of taking a wait and see approach a little bit on what the economic impact of the virus. But with over 5 million more jobs added to the economy than anyone previously predicted, the Trump administration is confident it can point to tangible numbers showing the effectiveness of President Trump's economic policies, a key point the administration will ensure voters are reminded of as they head into the voting booths come November. Chanel Rian, One American News, The White House. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.